Hey there, this is Clint Baker from Hillbilly Hippie Honeybees. Uh, just sitting out here in uh, my bee yard out back, enjoying the uh, morning, uh, having my coffee, and uh, watching the girls start getting to work today. As you can see, they're starting to fly real good. And uh, just thinking about, well, it's already starting to get hot, and it's only about 7.15 this morning. So what do we need to do as beekeepers to help uh, our bees make it through these hot flashes, maybe drought in your area, whatever it might be? Uh, what, what do we need to do? So there are a few things we can do. I'm going to tell you. Number one, did you think about the placement of your beehives as you were setting your yard up? Most of our yards are set to where they get the morning sun, and then when it gets to the hot part of the day, uh, the shade starts to hit them a little bit. Now, not all the way, but and not all of them, but, but that's one thing you do. Now, if you haven't done that, what can you do to help with, with the inside of the hives, right? And to, for them to keep that temperature regulated. Well, that was number one. Number two, um, ventilation. So you can, if you got a strong enough hive, remove your entrance reducers all the way. We use all kinds of things for entrance reducers. You can see right back here, we use blocks of wood, uh, angle iron, all kinds of different things. But uh, you can remove those if you got a strong enough hive. If you got a weaker hive, uh, just make the entrance larger so that more air will flow through. Um, screen bottom boards, if you live in an area or you like screen bottom boards, this might be a time to give them, a, you know, pull the uh, inner, inner part out, give them a little bit more ventilation from down there. We personally don't use uh, screen bottom boards, uh, never have liked them. Our area, we, we, uh, we don't have that hot of temperatures to be able to do that, so um, we just don't use them. Um, again, there are other people around here that do, and that's okay. Uh, but as far as ventilation go, you can also prop the lid up a little bit on the back side or the front side. Uh, our dad used to use pennies all the time. Um, you can use little rocks. You can use popsicle sticks. Whatever you want to do, just, just enough. Give them enough. Uh, you don't want to give them too much because you don't want other uh, bee colonies to maybe try to get in there and rob from them, especially if that's a weaker hive. Uh, so just give them just enough. That's why a penny, the thickness of a penny is all you need. Um, you don't want to give them too much ventilation because too much ventilation can cause other issues as well. And, you know, that's something we can talk about at a later date. You do want to watch for robbing during this time. Uh, a lot of times during these hot stretches or droughts, I don't think we're going to have that issue here. But uh, the, the nectar flows a little bit less, uh, so you may want to watch for robbing quite often. Uh, watch for bearding. Uh, bearding is uh, a way that you can tell that the inside of that hive is way too hot uh, because that's one of the things that they do naturally. They'll say, hey, some of you move out, get outside, it's too hot in here, while the others keep it cool. And then uh, you can you can do that. Uh, that. A lot of times if you, like I had one over here the other day, I did a video where I got the snot stung out of me. But uh, when I, after I removed it, within just a, an hour, all those bees were back inside when I removed the uh, entrance reducers. So it was a large enough hive to be able to do that. And I've not had any bearding on that uh, hive since. So that's a good way to see during those hot flashes that, oh, it's too hot out here for them. Next one is uh, limit your inspections. Uh, you know, during those hot times, hopefully you've already gotten your inspections done. You've already gotten your mite inspections done. Those things maybe even treated before it gets hot. One, you don't want to treat with oxalic acid or anything like that when it's that hot outside. We've found, okay. Um, but limit your inspections getting in there. They're already aggravated anyway. They're grumpy. And as my wife said in, in the one video where I got stung to death in, they're a bunch of grumpy ladies. Stay out of their hive or they're going to sting you. So uh, that's something that uh, you want to do is just limit that. Um, you may have to get in there for certain reasons. That's okay. Just limit your time in there. Get in, get out, and whatever. But if you don't need to be in there during those really hot waves, don't get in them. And lastly, um, they're going to go out and naturally get water. But make sure you have 
if you're not in an area that has a water source for them, make sure you have things out that they can uh, get water from to take back to the hive. Uh, they use that to help cool their hives down and they use it for other things inside their hive. So make sure that you have water sources around. Uh, if you don't, you can do things like we did last year. My wife uh, had me make a, a water fountain for her, but it ended up being a watering hole for the, uh, the honeybees. Um, she also, when she saw that happening, she went ahead and made a, uh, took the bird bath and added rocks to it and marbles and things like that. And she just kept it full of water every day. And it, it was a pretty, it's a pretty big, uh, bird feeder and they kept it dry every day. So that, that was back last year when we had our drought going on. So it's very crucial for them to have a good water source, good water supply. Uh, so that those are some things you can do to help uh, with the cooling of the hive as well. So if you'll notice, all this goes back to let's keep this hive, help them as much as we can to keep their hives at a good temperature. So I really hope all this uh, helps you, uh, helps your bees through uh, this, this heat wave that we're getting ready to experience over the next week or so. Um, I know it looks like the whole East Coast just about is uh, going to be experiencing this. So hopefully this helps a little bit. Um, but uh, if it does, please, please like this video and uh, subscribe to our channel. Um, it helps us with the algorithms and all that. It, you know, we don't do this to for anything other than to help other beekeepers maybe potential beekeepers out there just get some of this knowledge out to you and so in order to do that the more people that subscribe and the more people that that like the videos the more people this will help so again thank you for watching and may god bless you